<clears throat> here I am demonstrating how I went about doing a transconjunctival uh, small incision cataract surgery in a mature cataract and a non dilating pupil. So, initially I am placing my incision through the conjuncta with the sharp end of my crescent plate making a frown incision. It is about one third to half thickness of the sclera. I then uh, go ahead and dissect my sclerocorneal tunnel with the sharp end. I have only my limbs as my fixation forceps which I shift from the limbus from the uh, uh, temporal limbus to behind the uh, incision. I do not have a bridal suture in place. So, this is my only point of fixation and very gently I am dissecting most of my movements are sidewards, backwards and very minimally forwards. This is to avoid an inadvertent entry into the anterior chamber. At the same time you have to be careful, you have to be very careful not to make your uh, uh, dissection extremely superficial. Although that is easily handled if at all you do it. So, once I have my incision in place, I go ahead and put in my side port and enter the chamber with my keratome. I then stain the capsule and bring out all the stain as well as the air with HPMC and with my cystitome and creating a rexus within the margins of this pupil as much as it will allow me and obviously this is not going to be enough for nucleus expression. I will either have to scallop this border or I will have to make relaxing incisions and I have chosen the latter which is a very good option. So, the way to do it just push away the iris, identify the rexus margin and make your relaxing incision. I always make try to make 4 and make sure it is cut. Do it multiple times if you have to. Just moving away that flap, pulling my iris away, watching, yes there is the margin, go oh, cut. And although you do not need hydrodissection, I will do, but first I am opening up my incision with the keratome. Make sure it is open completely. Um, watch the nucleus very important where you hydro dissect, do not dissect in the area of where you are given the relaxing cuts, try to go in between those and just checking there it is rotating well. Once it is rotating well, do not do any further dissection, put in some HPMC, this is a very small tonic pupil, it is not going to be easy. I push the nucleus to one side, I engage the pole with on the opposite side and bring it out and with a cartwheel like motion, I am using just one uh, Sinsky hook, I am trying to rotate it, but half of it is still below the pupil. So, do not go on doing this, put in some HPMC, see what you are doing, try to get out all the free cortex that is obscuring your view or push it away. And once you can identify the pole, it is much easier. And now I am using both the Sinsky hooks and rotating it out into the chamber. There it is come out of the chamber. Now watch very carefully how I put my HPMC. I put over a little bit, put it at the sides, put it under also. and something at the inferior part also. Now, the nucleus is slightly tilted to give access as giving there is a space between the endothelium and the nucleus and the space between the posterior part of the nucleus and the iris. So, your yeah, rectus can neatly go underneath and bring it out very safely. Rectus you know if you are not careful you can land up with the iridodialysis. So, you have to be careful. 
and when you are doing the cortical aspiration, first aspirate all the free cortex that is in your way. Try to move the pupil away, look where the cortex is, okay, and then go with your port facing up and always bring out the cortex to the pupillary area and aspirate. Once you have done that, put in HPMC and I am putting my single piece PMMA lens hopefully into the bag, but many of times they just go into the sulcus, which does not matter. I then conclude by aspirating the HPMC, hydrating the wounds and performing the bronze test. Thank you for watching.